Today on this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2020 Trek Amanda SL6 disc. This is their lightweight performance climbing bike in disc brake format, and the SL6 means it's got Altegra. So let's go ahead and go over some of the features, the design, and then of course, we'll find out what it weighs. So this Trek SL6 Amanda, uh, to start off with, comes in this beautiful radioactive red and black. It's got a few other colors as well, but I think this color really makes it look super nice. Another neat thing is these bikes will actually come all the way from a size 47 all the way up to a 64. So with the Amanda lineup, you're gonna have no issues tracking down the right size. Now the frame itself is made out of what they call their ultralight 500 series OCLV carbon fiber. 500 series means this is a carbon fiber frame. It's got a carbon fork and carbon steer tube, and it should be a very lightweight build. Now this is gonna use their H2 geometry, which means that it's a performance height in the front end, but it does still allow an upright enough position to be able to use this for an endurance bike. Now we talked about the fork. The fork itself does have a carbon fiber steer tube as you can see in there. And then that's gonna go through to straight blade carbon fork blades to a 12 millimeter through axle up front. So this is 12 by 100 through axle up front. And the 500 series OCLV frame has a 12 by 142 through axle rear. Now one of the neat things that Trek does on their bikes like this has actually got to do with the seat post. So this bike has what they call a seat mast. And what that means is you can see the frame itself comes up and then the post or the topper goes down onto the seat mast. And what that allows for is they can do what they call rider tuned seat mast where they can tune the flex of the seat post. And it's not gonna change based on how much or how little you have the seat post installed. Now, for the frame set, the bottom bracket itself is gonna be a press fit BB90 bottom bracket. And then very nicely, this is set up with what they call duo trap. So that's a spot where you can put Bluetooth sensor so that you can pick up speed and cadence without having anything zip tied on the frame. Now talking about drivetrain of the bike, we'll start off with this is Shimano's Altegra hydraulic drivetrains. This is the R8000 series in hydraulic setups. So you've got nice hydraulic levers. You're then gonna have in the back a Shimano R8000 rear cassette. It's an 1128 on this bike. And then you've got an R8000 short cage rear derailleur. And then up front, you're gonna run an R8000 front derailleur. This has the cam actuation. It's the new style front derailleur. And then an R8000 5034 crank set. For wheels, this has actually got a very nice wheel set. So this is what's called a Bontrager Paradigm wheel. So it's gonna have a more basic hub, which is 12 by 142 rear and 12 by 100 up front, but it's a nice wide tubeless ready rim. And for tires, we're actually gonna be running the Bontrager R2. This is a brand new tire. Uh, the R2 series has been around for a while, but you can see the tire itself is different. This is a much lighter, much faster rolling Bontrager tire and should end up being a really nice setup. Now for brakes, you're running 160 rotors front and rear. There's Shimano RT800 center lock rotors with Shimano flat mount calipers. For the cockpit, you run a Bontrager Montrose saddle in the back. That's a 138 millimeter width. And the Bontrager Montrose is mounted onto a carbon fiber seat post. Now in the front, you're running Bontrager's blender stem. And you'll notice that that attaches where you can actually get a computer mount, you can put light mounts, things like that onto there. And then you've got the Bontrager Elite VRC, which is a nice short and shallow reach bar, should make it very comfortable and allow you to get to all of the positions. So that's a look at the 2020 Trek Amanda SL6 disc. Let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. The Trek Amanda SL6 disc in a size 54 
is going to come in and weigh 18.08 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the 2020 Trek Amanda SL6 disc. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up button, letting me know you enjoyed the video.